Hello, goddesses. I'm back to show you the results of the pours that I did the other night. Now, as you remember, I did two tablespoons of resin, two tablespoons of hardener, mixed it for five minutes, let it sit for three minutes. It ended up being 30 milliliters, no, 60, I'm sorry, 60 milliliters, which actually I weighed one of them and it ended up actually almost being 60 grams as well. And I'll start with the one I started with before, which was the stars. This is the new batch, the replacement batch, and I went from very thin to all the way thick. And according to the chemist, they're all supposed to work properly as long as I mixed enough. So I'll start with the thinnest one first. A little bendy. Not real bendy. It's not as bad as it was before. But that's the thinnest one. The next thinnest one. Or the next thickest one. Nice and hard. Just a tiny little bit bendy, but nobody will really notice. The next thickest one. This is just a cheap mold I got at like dollar store or something. It was for the American, the 4th of July celebration, it was an ice cube tray, but I figured for testing it's perfect. That's the second, and this is like totally hard. Totally hard. I put the blue down here so you could see these, because they're all clear. So I would venture to say that the rest of these are going to be nice and hard, just like they're supposed to be. Ooh, broke a fingernail. Nice and hard. Yeah, very good. The replacement batch is a success. It is for the stars anyway. Ooh, I cut myself too. Well, my mom always told me if you didn't bleed on your work, you didn't love your, you didn't love the people you were working for. So, <laughs> I love you just as much as uh, Miss uh, Miss Boots. Of course, usually you bleed when you stick a needle in yourself. That's sewing and stuff like that, but it might work for this too. I'm bleeding. <laughs> yep, all of them are really hard, and you can see the progression and the thicknesses. So it's not real easy to tell what thickness it's going to be unless you want to ruin one of your rulers to see how deep your resin is. That's one of the thicker ones. This is the thickest one here. And this one, like I said before, the top of it was dry within an hour. And this is, again, no heat. Those are really cool. I might actually be able to do something with those. Two more. So, new batch resin, measured, measured by volume, except for the very last one, which is barely bendy. It's nice, it actually is nice and hard, too. It's a little, like I say, it's a little bendy, but nothing like, nothing like these were, like, nothing like my other ones were. So, Replacement batch, 100% success. No heat, at least, at least 60 millimeters or 60 milliliters is what I used for all of these. Next up was the rubber duckies. I did the exact same thing for all of them except for every other one. I heated the resin. So this one is two tablespoons of resin, two tablespoons of a hardener, stir it for five minutes, let it sit for three minutes, pour it. 
and this was the one that I heated the resin only, the new batch, the newest batch, replacement batch. This is the thickest, one of the thickest ones. Oh, he's cute. Hard as a rock. In fact, again, these were hard within 25 minutes yesterday. So yeah, so far, and the inside of these, these, this particular one's not shiny, so don't worry, it's not. Actually, they're pretty cute that way. This was the thin, one of the thinnest ones that I made with that. And believe it or not, he's pretty hard. So, the new batch is definitely, definitely, definitely a success. This is another one of the thinnest ones. Oh, sweet. This makes me very happy. How about that? Another real thin one. Now this was, yeah, this was just the little wing. This was been the thinnest one, and this one's hard even. So yay! Another one. This one was half a duck, I guess you could say. And now while this one was drying, this th thicker part here got hard faster than this thinner part here, and I noticed. Of course, that's a really thin, thin spot there where his neck is, but that's real bendy. So maybe the thickness actually makes a big difference, too. Nothing, say nothing before, let me see if I can find my ruler. Nothing less than what that thinnest star was, maybe? Ah, this one. I would say that's about an eighth of an inch there. Which is which ends up being four to five millimeters, I believe, maybe a little less. So the ducks are a success. Now we're going now we're going to the old stuff that was bad, that we thought was bad or think is bad. Again, I wanted to test it again with just a higher amount and using the volume method. And I did. Cool bullet. Another another um, dollar store find, I do believe. Maybe not. I thought the bullets were cool. I'm going to start you with their very thinnest one first. And you see, even though it seems to be at least a quarter of an inch thick, at least, at almost half an inch there, very bendy. Like I say, this is the old batch, no heat, same measurement. Two, two tablespoons and two tablespoons. No heat. The thinnest one. All right. Let's try the thickest one. Since we know that one is bendy. This is all the way at the top. Let me see how thick it is. Now this way. Oh, yeah. See, look. You can bend it that way. So, yeah. This stuff is definitely not good. Definitely not good. You can you can actually can bend that. It's it's kind of gummy even, and it has been over 24 hours. In fact, I just got back from my show a couple hours ago, and I had to do this for you guys. But yeah, this is this is over 24 hours now that I've done this, and this is the old stuff. So yes, the old stuff. There is bad batches out there. Definitely bad batches out there. So <clears throat> let's see if it helped any, because I did these at the very end of the pour. After I'd mixed it and stirred it and mixed it and stirred it and kept doing the little things all the way down. I think I might have... Oh, yeah, I even domed. I domed a, uh, I domed a uh, heart with it. and The heart was already bendy, but it should have... If it was hardening properly, I could have fixed it, but it's like a gummy bear. <laughs> okay, this is the one at the very end when it like started getting a little bit um, sticky. And still nothing. It's still... So... The first batch I got was definitely a bad batch. This was no heat, so I can only imagine what the heat did. Probably not much more. Let me find those. I did the no heat in the plastic. I wanted to try the plastic as well. So we'll do the thickest one first. The thickest one first on this one. I hope I can get it out. If it's still, if it's so, if it's soft, I may not.
Thank goodness this plastic is soft. But so is the resin, so. Oh, I've never had this much problem getting these out of here. It's coming. There we go. Okay. I like making these bangle bracelets when I can. I give them to kids because they love them. All right. Somebody mentioned something about being able to squeeze theirs all the way to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> This is the old, this is the original batch, way past 24 hours uh, of cure time, and and it's no good with the same measurements and the same mixing time. And I heated I heated the resin on these here. Okay, so I don't think anybody would want to wear that, do you? And second thin second thickest. I really, I really adore this mold. In fact, it's going to be a part of my, uh, going to be a part of my uh, uh, benefit that I'm doing for animals. Trying to make as many of these as I can too. This is beautiful, nice and clear. Love the clear resin. I'm glad the other stuff works. Now this one, in the in the center, is really really hard. Hmm. Now see, that's, now this one worked. This is the old stuff. I, I, I did a um, kind of a thick mold. I heated up the resin, and this one actually worked. This is what I meant by when I do a pour from the old one, some of it works and some of it doesn't. So there's proof. There it is. There it is right there. This is hard. I can't move it. It's, it's just a teeny, weeny, weeny bit. And the, at the thinner edges, but it's not moving. It's hard. And that's the old stuff. That's the bad stuff. Go figure. All right. And this is the thinnest one. I don't expect this. I don't actually expect this one to be hard. But stranger things have happened. I love this mold, too. This one's going to... This I use this one. I'm going to be using this one for the, the animal bunny, too. And I made this one all the way to the tip top. And, yeah, see, it's no good. So this is the old one, the old one. So you've seen them all be dismolded, and now you know what I'm talking about when I say sometimes the, the bad stuff worked, and sometimes it didn't work, but most of the time it didn't work. All right, guys, thanks for watching.